Welcome back to our salt box project. Um, this is going to be part three of our mini part series. Um, I wanted to step back a little bit in this video here at the very beginning and go over some things with the first floor that I needed to put in there for my architecture two and practicum class mainly. Um, but it goes with all the classes really. So if I come in here and hide these first top two, um, the first, the second floor um, and the floor itself, we can take a look, see we, I modified um, some things in here along along with this master, master uh, suite in order to clear things up. For one, the, your doorway is really going to be here. This is going to be really the only clear point for this master suite. Um, you probably do have room back here. However, you do need to remember that you're going to have a storage area right here um, underneath the stairway. Um, or if, if this was somewhere outside of Texas and you had basements, um, this would be where the, the basement stairs went. So you'd have a doorway here. Um, you also have a mudroom here and everything. So, and plus this is going to be where your kitchen is. So, um, you're, you're going to need all the real estate over here that, that you need or that you're going to be able to get. So putting a doorway here probably isn't, isn't the, the best. Um, for everything plus you also need to remember that the other two bedrooms in this house is on the second floor so having the master suite bedroom here next to the stairs is going to really um, be a lot more beneficial because if normally with a two with a three bedroom you're going to have small kids uh, they're going to be upstairs and so it, it gives it gives easier access from the master suite to the up um, to the top floor where the, um, where the kids would be normally. Okay, so that's kind of why the doorway is going to be here. Um, we also went and took our tape measure and we made a line around four feet. Okay, um, this maybe this really isn't where exactly where the stairs are going to be at, um, but it kind of gives us a good idea about where the stairs is going to end at. Okay. Um, that gives us plenty of room for the front door opening and all of that. Um, so that's, and this is where the stairs are. Um, and that's going to be a future project for us. Okay. Um, I also went in here and made this little, um, this little wall, um, indention here um, that just mirrors this one right here so this comes out six inches same thing right here it's gonna come out six inches and whatever um, however this was is also what that's gonna be okay so that's kind of what that is and just add symmetry since with the style it's all about symmetry um, all around um, so that that is that um, go back in our display um, unhide my last and this is going to be this is where we ended up so in this project we're going to take a look at the roof section um, with the roof in the in the salt box house we're going with a 12 over 12 so if we take our if we take our protractor tool Click on the corner, set our zero mark, go upwards, and we're going to type in 12, colon, 12, and that equals out to a 45 degree angle. Take our line tool, I'm just going to draw a line to connect the dots. We're then going to take and come over here to the very back. We're going to start with the line right here. So there at the very top of the first floor, we're going to set our zero mark, come up 12 over 12, or you could type in 45 degrees. I didn't go quite up far enough. So let's go ahead and, and go to the intersection. 
go from that end line. I'm going to go down a little bit further since I do want to overhang over here. Okay, um, let's go over here to this other side and we're going to do the exact same thing. So set our endpoint, set the zero, go up 45 degrees. in 45 degrees okay I can erase all these lines and so that's what I got now so now we can take our line tool connect the dots again you, sh you if you did it correctly it should be red, okay, because it, it is parallel to this red axis, okay. If you did it the other way, it would have been green because it had been along, it would be parallel to the green axis, okay. Same thing here. And same thing here. The reason why nothing else is closing in is because these are their own groups, okay? Or actually, technically components. Uh, their own components, so nothing in here is going to um, interfere with anything here, okay? Um, so that now that we have the roof here, let's go ahead and we need to bring in the thickness of it. So I'm going to pull it down and I'm gonna inference this edge of the second floor. Okay, um, then I'm just going to measure out what that technically was. So four and a fourth. So I'm going to go over here to the other side. And I'm going to pull that down 4.25. Four and a fourth. Okay. Next, I'm going to bring it up two inches, and I'm gonna bring this up two inches. I do have some sort of gap going on over here, so I can fix that really quick by just closing this in and I'm not sure what really made it, um, but we'll close that in and we can actually bring that up or you can bring this one up, either one, whichever one works for you. We can clean up all these lines. I'm going to go ahead and there we go. Triple click on this and make this a component. Label it roof. Click OK. All right. So now we have our roof section and we have our first and second floors. In our next video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to modify this second floor. Because again, this is going to not going to be here, and we'll go ahead and close this uh, this roof section. We'll close that up. Okay. Thank you. Stay tuned for part four of our project.